Hi friends, welcome back. Approximately 60 days are remaining for the prelims 2024 and now is high time that you start your revision. Guys, the manner in which you read any subject for the first time or the second time when you have started your preparation and the manner in which you revise any subject before the examination there is a hell lot of a difference but most candidates what mistake they do is that they start revising in the same manner as they read the subject for the first time or the second time they start reading each and every line and they have no clue what to leave and what to read and what is the result the result is they fail to revise all the subjects in the last one month or last two months which is a crucial month so guys in this video i am going to help you how to revise this book how to revise this book so that you get the maximum result in the least possible of time. I am going to give you the important chapters, the important topics. I am going to do the PYQ analysis and I am going to exactly tell you how you can read this entire book for the prelims 2024 in the least possible time. Guys, if you are wanting to revise this book, this book is one of the most important book for the modern India section, then this video is for you. Guys, before that, let me tell you is that I am giving daily targets for the prelims 2024 and in these daily targets I am covering all the important topics I have prepared a hit list for every subject which have high probability to come in the UPSC prelims 2024 guys let me tell you in the last three years most of the questions which have come in the UPSC prelims examination they have come from my hit list the, the topics the questions which I predicted so guys please refer that this is my telegram channel you can see this is my telegram channel this is my website you can refer this website every day i publish current affairs completely free and i discuss okay five current affairs questions in my youtube channel every day i can promise you a lot of questions will come from my current affairs quiz so guys with this let us start so guys first thing first first thing first do we need to read this book the answer is emphatic yes you need to read this book but the problem is, this book is more than 800 pages. Is it humanly possible for any candidate to again read each and every page of this book just before the examination? This is not possible first of all. And even if someone is such a great personality, a great student that he can read this 800 pages before the exam, should he do that? Can he use his time properly for somewhere else? Yes. Guys, there is no need to read this 800 pages again. Why? Let me first tell you by the analysis of the PYQs of the last 4 to 5 years. Guys, there has been a sea change in the UPSC prelims examination pattern in the last 3 years. In the last 3 to 4 years, there has been a sea change. The type of questions which are coming now and the type of question used to come before 2018, 2019, there has been a sea change. What is that sea change? I am going to tell you what in this book you have to read, what in this book you have to leave. Particularly in the last month, I am going to tell you. So if you are struggling how to cover this book before the exam, which is the Modern India Spectrum book, guys, this is the video. So guys, what I will do is that, okay, I am going to, okay, I am going to show you first of all, okay. The questions which have come in the last few years, the topics, the areas, the themes which UPSC question setters are focusing so that we get an idea which are the chapters, which are the pages, which are most important. Okay, so let me show it to you. Okay, you can see here, first of all, one observation is you can see the number of questions which are coming from the modern India is on a secular decline is on a secular decline you can see here the number of questions were eight then six then three then two last year only two questions came from modern india so that thing has to be first kept in your mind that even if you read 800 pages even if you master these 800 pages the number of questions which are coming in modern india is on a secular decline maybe this year two questions three questions we don't know but one thing is for sure that from modern india you can't expect too many questions so when you can't expect too many questions can you afford to spend a lot of time in this just answer this question in the comment box can you afford to spend one month 
or 15 days just for reading this no guys this is waste of time second thing guys this book has so many chapters do we need to read all the chapters guys no let me show you the trend which has been evolving in the UPSC prelims examination if you see these questions you will come to the conclusion that there are some important chapters there are some important chapters there are some important themes which is UPSC focusing every year and there are many chapters many themes in this book which UPSC is even not looking at in the last couple of years particularly after 2020 for example if you carefully look here one thing becomes very clear that they are asking question on okay the British constitutional development okay which is the acts okay constitutional development British administration okay this is a very popular theme you can see consistently UPSC every year is giving question 1833 act 1919 act 1919 act 1905 act so this is a, cons a consistent theme second thing what you will observe in the last couple of years particularly in the last two three years the number of questions coming from the initial two three chapters the initial two three chapters you can keep noting them i will just okay i will note all the important chapters here do not worry just first listen try to listen okay you can see if this you can see this you just can see here the type of question coming from okay first few chapters which is entry of europeans is very high second consolidation of british rule generally generally i will tell you from students perspective okay i have seen a lot of students i myself have prepared for upsc prelims and i have cracked the prelims exams in six out of six times with very high scores general perception among student is what modern india means freedom struggle so most of the candidates what the mistake they do they start reading modern india after the 1857 revolt that is not completely correct if you analyze the question which have been coming from the modern india guys you will come to the conclusion that the first three four chapters in this book okay let me just tell you i have tick marked okay first three four chapters you can see here okay let me just show you okay the unit two unit two you can see here advent of europeans and consolidation of british power in india okay you can see this i hope this is visible i hope this is visible this chap this unit is the most important unit nowadays this unit is the most important unit nowadays many times questions are coming from this unit most of the students they are unable to solve these questions so guys it is my sincere request for everyone please read this unit unit 2 unit 2 has around three chapters let me just read out the chapters for you advent of europeans in india india at the eve of british conquest expansion and consolidation of british rule in india these are the three chapters i would say the most ignored one chapters and the most rewarding chapters i can bet you that definitely one question will be coming from this unit these three chapters please read these three chapters definitely you will thank me you are going to thank me okay so what kind of questions what should be your emphasis that also i'm going to talk about the first okay let us try to see what kind of questions and which are the areas which we have to focus so this is the unit okay advent of europeans the second unit which i have analyzed which is very important nowadays where upsc is asking questions is basically the rising resentment against company rule which is unit three okay rising resentment okay rising resentment you can see here tribal movements lot of emphasis is on tribal movements okay rising resentment rising resentment okay okay guys so lot of questions you will see coming on tribal movements nowadays so you can expect questions on tribal movement okay so this chapter where people's resistance against the british rule then 
the revolt of 1857 revolt of 1857 is also very very important although in the last 2 3 years you have not seen question on revolt of 1857 but that is important you can get this year question this year one of the personalities is in news so you can get a question on revolt of 1857 also one of the personalities was in news okay but the rising resentment the peasant struggle the tribal struggle very very important next thing with you okay go through this okay one more topic which generally students ignore is the british policies british economic policies particularly but policies may include education policy british education policy economic policy okay press policy social reform policy so if you see at the end if you see at the end of okay the last units if you see here there is a unit and the name of the unit goes by the name okay india under the british rule governance and other aspect unit 9 this is unit 9 very very important let me again reiterate myself very very important this unit 9 which is about india british rule governance and other aspects if you see in this chapter you get one question on constitutional development which is this question you can see here every year one question sir every year one question next you can see here survey of british policies again very important next economic impact of british rule very 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 important chapter economic impact of british rule you see here indigo revolt then you see here industrial revolution and impact on india you can see two questions in the year 2020 very very important very very important development of education again i have not kept it here but 2018 in 2018 we had two questions on development of education development of education again this year i am predicting important prediction for this year development of education so this unit unit 9 is very very important guys after that the most important unit and the final unit which you need to read these are the most hot topic units is the social revolution social movement you can see here the name of the unit guys goes by the number uh, unit okay it is unit uh, yeah unit 4 unit 4 why i am saying this why am i saying this why am i saying this unit 6 again you see unit 6 very very important you can see rakma bai case it is about the socio religious reform two chapters are there socio religious reform socio religious reform very very important prepare the personalities this year satya sodhak samaj very important dayanand saraswati arya samaj very important like this i am going i have prepared the entire list sir important topic list you can go through the list go through the telegram channel you can the number would be given somewhere in the description contact me go to this telegram channel which is given you will get the entire list of guys so this chapter this unit you should read after that generally student what mistake they do they start reading after this they start reading after this. that is a mistake if you see number of questions which have come after this very few questions and that to indirect questions that to indirect questions so after the national freedom now the national freedom struggle starts okay after the social revolution movement generally people start reading after this modern india that is a mistake the number of question you see here which are coming after the freedom struggle movement starts which is about 1885 very few number of questions and that to where what should be your emphasis guys your info emphasis should be revolutionary struggle next your emphasis should be peasant movement workers movement next in revolutionary struggle the focus should be bhagat singh hsra surya sen there are many personalities like this i have prepared entire list you can go through that list okay 
so you can see here the national freedom struggle movement okay and the last one which is very important is the transfer of power transfer of power so transfer of power starts from after the quit india revolution quit india revolution after that or before that also okay around 1940 onwards it started the august offer august offer crips mission then c raja gopal chari formula then cabinet mission okay so this last okay last 10 years very very important you have a lot of questions you can see crips mission has come somewhere you can see here crips mission in revolutionary struggle guys one thing which i have left here which i should definitely mention you which can come upsc has not asked it but in future it can come is the indian diaspora indian diaspora contribution to freedom struggle movement indians who were living outside canada america europe they contributed for the freedom struggle movement and that was the komato garu incident in the gadar movement which upsc has already asked but it may go in deep it may go in deep here okay gadar party and other freedom struggle movement outside india you see there were three governments which were established outside india one was i think barkatullah other was subhash bos you see here okay so these were very important events which were occurring outside india ina okay you see here ina question has also come you know ina government was set up outside india and they waged a war against the british empire in india and that has been a focus of upsc in the last couple of years so this will also come in revolutionary you see here so these are the important generally people what keep they keep on reading non cooperation movement civil disobedience this movement the congress session this session that session now upsc is not asking guys go through the pyqs that is why i say pyqs are the most important indication once you observe that once you observe that then guys your life will be very easy upsc prelims is not very tough guys let me tell you frankly people are struggling to crack upsc prelims there is a hard fact okay that people are struggling that is a fact but who are those people only those people who do not understand the exam who do not understand the demand of the exam are those people who are struggling i know few of my students i myself let me tell you i myself have cracked prelims examination all six times with very high scores just understanding the nature of the exam you can see some of my score cards this is in front of you and let me tell you many of my students have also cracked the prelims examination very very easily some was okay <laughs> one question one comment came to my mind just now one girl okay on one of the youtube comment she message sir you always tell you have cracked the prelims examination six times have you ever cracked the mains examination so i just want to reply to that girl sister i have cracked the mains examination also four times you can see here four times mains qualified once i missed by only one marks that year there was a complete butchering of my optional which was the public administration i missed by only one marks so you can conclude that i have cracked the mains examination civil services mains examination five times not only that i went on to crack my state pcs examination also i secured a top rank and i was allotted deputy collector post okay i have not only cracked my state pcs exam i have cracked other state pcs prelims also so guys you can trust me i have enormous experience as far as this exam is concerned enormous you just imagine yourself someone cracking prelims 6 out of 6 times with the scores mind boggling scores someone cracking the mains examination four times once missing by just one marks have scored highest marks in ethics highest marks in essay particularly you can go and see my gs scores 
one of the highest marks went on to crack the state pieces examination with a very good rank allotted deputy collector rank cracked some other state services prelims exam also but did not write the mains exam obviously i have a good command over this exam called civil services and guys my intention of making these videos is to guide sincere aspirants because i know because of the competition which is there in the civil services examination because sheer competition which is there in the civil services examination many intelligent many hard working many sincere many dedicated aspirants also fail to crack this exam just because they do not have the right strategy just because they do not have the right direction i am here to help those hard working aspirants who need the direction who have a self belief i can do it maybe you have failed in the first attempt maybe you have failed in the second attempt maybe you have failed in the third attempt but you have a belief that you can do it and you are willing to improve yourself guys i have a student i had a student still that student is there she continuously improved for at least 3 years she was there in my prelims program and my mains program for 3 years 2019 around 1920 2021 2022 and 2023 and last year she got a rank so i know people who are sincere who have a belief who keep on improve improving definitely they will get a rank definitely they will get a rank even god cannot snatch the rank from you even god decides to snatch the rank from you he cannot do that this is a very big statement let me tell you this is a very big statement why god cannot snatch because if you do the right thing if you do the right strategy if you do the right labor if you do the right work if you remain ethical in your path towards the success god has to give you success god has to who else will get success then if you are ready to improve if you are ready to work hard the problem with most of the students is that they do not want to change they do not want to agree that they have a mistake they have problem when we do not accept the problem how the hell can we improve that is the problem most of the students okay uh, i know uh, i'm i'm solving the test no sir i will do some tests sir before the exam i will so solve some tests last year you failed prelims this year also you are not sincere then who is responsible for your failure the question set us or you guys you have to do the extra effort you have to do the extra effort the kind of competition the kind of competition i cannot tell you i have lot of students i i, I come across IITs IIMs they are going for this exam the competition is increasing with the every passing year and with the economic scenario which we have a lot of students are getting attracted towards civil services because of the certainty job security many other factors are there but job security and certainty is one of the most driving factor and many people who previously used to ignore this examination they are coming for this examination the competition is going to rise in the next 3 4 years so every year you miss this exam you are coming for a higher competition let me tell you frankly this is my analysis you may agree to it you may not agree to it if you agree to it please do give a thumbs up and please do comment so guys i hope that i am able to give you the important chapters let me just sum up here so important chapters first unit okay unit 2 advent of europeans there are three chapters in this then unit some 9 which is the british policies british policies very important next guys unit 3 or 4 it is the social reform and next the revolutionary struggle and last is the transfer of power
focus on these things focus on these things and when you read this first chapter also okay focus on intelligent study okay like for example when you read advent of europeans just go through the chronology just go through the settlements where they settled in india just go through the names of few important personalities just go through what impact they had on india like which goods they brought to india which goods they sold from india so like this if you think and go through the pyqs and then you prepare things become very easy guys with this i would end this video but with a sincere request if you like my guidance if you like the manner in which i gave you the important chapters and if you want me to do such videos in future please do support this video and share this video with your friends thank you bye bye take care